previously on Erie High versus everybody. The girls need to have like loyalty, pride, strength, determination. We're so hard. It's a Friday is it is game day. Like we're down. Like we're down by six. We're down by six with, with 50 seconds left. We we gotta get in. Do not believe it! Do not believe it! Do not believe it! You know, I said it before, I'm going to say it again, it's all about the culture of these guys and uh, the loyalty and, and uh, them just buying in everything in the program and, and uh, you know, again, we got to stay injury free this year. And that's the thing, these guys are young, they bought, I mean, they have bought into the culture, I mean, we're, we're playing three sophomores, uh, you know, we're playing uh, a junior and, uh, you know, and, the, and a couple seniors up front, so uh, we're very young up there and, uh, you know, the two seniors have really uh, done a good job leading these guys. Uh, I feel like the team stepped up right, big time. Like, they proved that they was ready for game time situations. They proved that in the first half, actually. And uh, I feel like we got to maintain that, but we can't come in thinking it's going to be as easy. Mm -hmm. We got to still work this hard as practice. Because this their week one. They turned right now. They ready to get one and no as well, like how we was. So as long as we stay to our keys and perform like we did, then we should be straight. Phil Anarella's Austin Town Fitch Falcons playing host to Erie. Third quarter, Falcons ahead 8-0 but the Royals on the move. Gannon Williams up the middle. It's a 44-yard pickup all the way down to the Fitch 18-yard line. Later in the drive, Williams back to work on the carry. He coughs it up, however, in the end zone. It's recovered by Erie, though, for a touchdown. The ensuing kickoff, Falcons come up big on special teams. Anthony Colton with a 43-yard return. That drive would stall, but Fitch does get the win 15-8. The Falcons are 2-0. This is a big revenge. Um, I feel like we're ready. Uh, I feel like our line is more prepared this time. Uh, just being all one and just coming hard, you know, just playing hard. Uh, I feel like we just had one mistake for real. Well, we had plenty of mistakes, but it was just one mistake that cost us the game. And I feel like we can fix like this game, you know. Uh, I feel like we're stronger, faster, mm -hmm. and we're just ready. Blah, blah, blah. And they think too they want to run, guard, tackle, trap, or whatever, and they want to have the running back go. We're not going to fake for the running back. We got guys, we got defensive ends and guys out there for that. In a corner, if, if, if he peels off or whatever, if they do run that, I want the back half. I mean, to where he doesn't get up and walk after the play. That's what needs to be done. That's what we need. We got to get yards. Trey had the one run on the side where it looked like he was going to get three and it ended up being eight because he didn't stop his feet. That's how everything has to be. JJ had good vision and cut back on the one Auburn, but he shouldn't have had to cut back like a He didn't have the vision? Fuck, it, it's a two-yard game. It's a two-yard game. So that is a problem right there. Those things need to be corrected. This team is going to be way better than what we played last week. It's going to be a war, so we got to take care of business. Don't put your head down and say, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing and get frustrated. Like you said, ask us questions. Don't get mad, put your head down and go in the back mumbling under your breath. Ain't gonna help y'all, it ain't gonna help us. Hey! Condition that only works by the effort you give. If you get an effort, if you give all out sprints and you, and you go hard, ball to the wall the whole time, by the course of the season, your lungs will be so built up that you're gonna be ready to go. By the time we get to the stretch of the season, when injuries start happening in mid-season, we won't have them. But we have to give the effort and conditioning. And when you're coming in last, 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 all of a sudden you come in first, that means you didn't give a damn, and that means you put your, you put it on your team. There you go, Gabe! Push it on him, Gabe! Push it on him, Gabe! Come on, Mama, Listen, y'all see the beast? What's going on, It was tucked in my back, in the back. It was tucked in his back. It was tucked in the back. It was tucked in his back. You kept pulling it out. 
He got a he got a go against linebackers. His hands, his hands he got, got a go against linebackers. Thirty yards worth of penalties. He got a go against linebackers. Thirty yards worth of penalties right there. No! You got God. You got. Well, how old is them cleats? Five, how old is them cleats? Exactly. How, how long is you trash. So you trash. Uh, so you trash. Uh, yeah. Get some yards. Get a K. Yeah, got it. Get a K. I got a couple of them. This team is going to be better coached, and they coaches were up there talking junk about us. The coaches was up there talking, I would say something else, but we had some little, they talking shit. This is a statement game. We're zero and zero. We gotta treat this like open week. Get on them early and off. The uh, community mourning tonight the loss of the lives of five children after fire rips through their eerie home. We have continuing coverage tonight at 10. Now, it was just after 1 o'clock this morning when the 911 call started coming in. Erie firefighters sent to a home in the 1200 block of West 11th Street. The house totally engulfed in fire when the first crews arrived. A total of eight people were reportedly inside at the time. Unfortunately, five children did not make it out. Hey, sir, we here today. They should... so what's this about? I'm doing it for five, for five kids that passed away. Dedicate the game to them and their family. Man, we going out here getting big dubs. Big dubs. Gotta play hard today, man. All around. Gotta come out like the first game. Yo, Oreo. Set the tone. This is our night. This is our home. Everybody in the city came to see y'all. Let's show up and show up. Hey, we got a bunch of overprivileged kids that y'all about to go against. They come from money. They can buy their way to have what they want. They think because we're a public school, we're beneath them. They think everything that you guys are are nothing but trash and, you know, some other things I won't say. No matter what part of the game it is, whether it's specials, whether it's offense or defense, that person across from you, make sure you own them. Make sure you own them. Nobody gonna come in here and have a good day. Let's give it to them. Let's go, y'all. PA Dre shit.
And they real cocky too. Y'all let them win. Let them win. But they gonna hand it off or keep it. That's the story. Y'all had their best already. 13 points. That was their best. Same for the same shit. Exactly, because now you stole it. This up. This up. This up. And then try to get back up there. You're on your back foot. They're getting you in fucking jamming you up. We gotta go.
this week is not going to be for the weary. Go ahead. Go ahead and miss practice for work because you guys can. I've known to change the schedule. We're at 3.30. Go ahead and miss practice for work. Okay? If there's something going on, some emergency that you had to be with your family on Monday, you better let somebody know. Otherwise, we're on that field at 3.30. If you miss practice, unless somebody in the family dies and you bring the card or a problem, you're not playing. That can never, ever happen again. Next up on Erie versus everybody. I'll show you how we should do. What you call that, coach? Going in pockets. Get this dollars, coach. Because <laughs> we have to get back to what we're doing. From here on out, we need to toughen up. We're 60 seconds away from going and getting our second dub. Because nobody else deserves it better than y'all do. At the end of the day, you ain't got to tell me, you ain't got to tell neither one of these coaches. Can you live with the man on the inside when you look in the mirror and ask yourself, did you leave it all on the field?